Hey, what is up everybody? This is Legacies bringing you a commentary. Today we are going to be talking about if we're overhyping Black Ops 3 and stuff like that and kind of how it goes and everything like that. So pretty much there's a lot of YouTube channels out there, a lot of people on Twitter and everything spamming the Black Ops 3 news and leaks. Just talking about Black Ops 3 so much, talking about all this stuff coming to Black Ops 3 and hints and the trailers and all this reveals and leaks and everything like that and there's tons of channels you can just go on to your youtube subscription page if you're subscribed to quite a bit of call of duty youtubers and you will see pretty much every single one of them are, is talking about black ops 3 with that being said the game isn't releasing till november november 6th and it's only may 2nd now I believe we should get some hints and we should know a little bit about the game and everything like that right now and stuff. So we can kind of see what we're expecting for the future and everything like that. But honestly, I think with all the news, it's just overwhelming and we're all getting way too much hype over the game. That happens with pretty much every Call of Duty. We just overhype it so much and then when it finally comes out and we play it, we don't like it as much. Just look at how Ghosts was and how Advanced Warfare was and even other Call of Duties just in general. We just overhype it so much. We hype it so much before it releases that when it comes out, it's not as good as we thought it would be. And so I'm kind of one of those people here with Black Ops 3. I'm saying, hey, it might be a good game. It might not. I'm not really going to. I'm still going to watch the Black Ops 3 news and stuff like that. But I'm not really going to take it all in. I'm not really going to say it's going to be the best Call of Duty ever and whatnot. Because I'm just going to have to play it for myself and see how I like it. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't really think we can trust all of the YouTubers out there that are saying that after they played the multiplayer back when they went to the Treyarch Studios. I don't think we can really trust all of them by them saying that it's a great Call of Duty game and stuff like that. Because, well... With that being said, like the developers aren't going to want the YouTubers to say bad things about it and stuff like that. Now, I don't know. I'm not saying that not any of them think that it's a bad game. I'm not saying that any of them think that it's a, not, not any of them think that it's not a great game. Maybe they all think it's a great game and they are saying that. I don't know, but Honestly, it kind of just varies based on your opinion on what kind of game you like and what you like to see and everything like that. You can't really base how you're going to like a game off of someone else's opinions. With that being said, I'm still going to be up to date on the news with all the leaks and the reveals and all this news about Black Ops 3. But I'm not really going to say that Black Ops 3 is going to be the best Call of Duty ever or if it's going to be the worst Call of Duty ever or really how it's going to generally be. That's not really for me to say until I try out the game and I'll probably release a review of Black Ops 3 and my first impressions and stuff like that when it comes out. But right now, kind of just seeing how the game looks and saying, hey, it might be a good game, it might be a bad game, but I don't really know till I'm till I try it out. And that's what I think a lot of people should be like. You shouldn't just take it for granted and be like, yes, this game is so sick and overhype it and everything like that. Because then when you finally get it, it's not going to really live up to your expectations. Whereas if you say it might be a good game, it might not, yada, yada, yada. Then you can kind of be like when it releases, hey, this is better than I thought it would be. Or if it's not better than you thought it would be, you can be like, hey, it's not that good of a game. But I didn't really think it was going to be that good of a game. That's kind of what I think. Now, I do have kind of faith in Treyarch and releasing the game and kind of saying that they're probably going to make a pretty good Call of Duty game. Treyarch always makes pretty good Call of Duties, and I do have faith in them. But I'm not really going to say that Black Ops 3 is going to be the best Call of Duty ever or if it's going to be a great game. And I'm not going to say it's going to be the worst Call of Duty ever or that it's going to be a bad game. I'm just going to have to kind of see once it comes out and once I play it. And that's pretty much what that's going to be. So pretty much we always overhype Call of Duty before it releases and that's kind of how Call of Duty kind of goes because you see it's overhyped all summer, even now before summer and well before like summer break for people in school and stuff. 
and then once it releases, we play it. We like it for about a month or two, and then we don't like it anymore. And because the reason that we don't like it after a month or two, in my opinion, is because we've looked at it all through the summer and everything and looked at all this news and all these leaks and stuff that it's basically like we've been playing the game for like eight months, but it's only been two. And that's kind of what I think. And then after those two months, we might go back to the older Call of Duty and stuff like that. And then maybe we come back to it, maybe we don't. And then we start up another trend with more Call of Duty news for the next Call of Duty game. I mean, even when Advanced Warfare was first being launched, like after about a month of it being out, people were already talking about the next Call of Duty game, which is going to be released this year. They were talking about it in 2014. And that's like really, really in advance because we didn't even know if it was going to be Black Ops 3. And people were still talking about it. So in all seriousness, I think we just overhyped Call of Duty way too much. But, I mean, it's what's going to happen and a lot of channels are going to do that. And that's how a lot of channels kind of get better is by the leaks and by the news and everything like that. But, I mean, I'm not really going to say it's a good thing. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. We're just going to have to see how Call of Duty is once it releases, and that's kind of what I'm going to do. Hopefully you guys liked this video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like, as it really does help out the channel. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel so you can see future videos from me. Right now, I'm doing a Black Ops 3 giveaway, which I'm going to be giving away a copy of Black Ops 3, a pre-order copy, and it'll be shipped to you. And you'll also get a beta code with that. So if you want to win that, then go over to the video linked in the description below that is about the giveaway and you can go see the rules and fulfill those rules and then you could possibly win Black Ops 3 and a beta code. That's for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And Wii U if Black Ops 3 comes out for the Wii U. I'll be talking about other stuff in the future. And even though I was talking about this and kind of saying how it's bad that we overhype it and stuff, I'll still be doing my fair share of news and kind of what I want in Black Ops 3. So don't worry about that. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Legacies out.